Sensor scan to one half parsec. On screen. Weapons are at It's more like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny whiny stuff. Open a channel. All vipers, break, break, break! Impossible to see the future. This is the emergency holographic doctor speaking. You wish the energy talking. Helmsman laid a new course. Watch how I saw it. Now, it's gone completely. Engage. Hello and welcome to the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. I'm your host David and joining me today we have Stuart. Hello. Oops, I turn up Stuart's channel. Um, <laughs> so, That'd be uh, smart. Yeah, t- shut up, I'm only the host. It's not like I know what I'm doing. I've only done 94 of these things. Shut up. Also, we have Amy. Money, no? We have Eugene. Hello. And that's about it. So, so this week we are breaking down the Sunday. Sandy. Wow, me do the English well this week. Um, we are breaking down the San Diego Comic Con trailers. Um, so we have a handy dandy link which we have dumped in the the chat for you guys. Um, for all of you listeners in the chat. Sorry for the clicks. My trackpad stopped working this morning, so I'm forced to use a mouse. I will do my best to click as little as possible. Um, so anyway, we're going to break down the trailers, starting at the top of the page. So we have Justice League kicking it off. Um, so, yeah. so, so the Justice League tra- trailer is effectively Batman. Just going around recruiting everybody. So, I'm sort of expecting it to be a musical montage in the movie. Because nothing says Batman recruiting people like a musical montage. Hey, the musical's good in the trailer. <laughs> so, so you see Batman hunting down um, Aquaman, mostly. And you see Wonder Woman doing her thing. See? Aquaman just being badass, which is really unbefitting to Aquaman. <laughs> what? It's Aquaman. And then we see the Flash. And he's like, I want you to join the team. And he's just like, you're, you're Bruce Wayne. And he's like, he's like, yeah. And he's like, okay, I'll join. <laughs> Aquaman's like, no, screw you, I'm out. And, yeah. And the Flash is I like, like the whole fact that the guy more or less. Yeah. You know what my favorite shot of this trailer is? The one where, he, um, where Jason Martin was like drinking the whiskey and then it's just the water crashes over him. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That is just like, oh, okay. That's a beautiful shot. <laughs> Another beautiful shot is when he throws the, um, throws the batarang at Flash and Flash is just like, and... Quicksilver slow-mo. I caught it. Difference is he's got the full speed lightning dealie. Yeah, yeah, that, he's got, that's the Speed Force Lightning, not his, yeah. like, normal Lightning. I'm Kicks like, it. okay, that would be interesting to see how that plays out. Yeah. He wants to keep the battery. <laughs> so, do you blame him? He just caught a thing thrown at him by Batman. He didn't really have many friends. <laughs> I really want to choose Really? So, yeah. I love the joke they chuck in at the end. It's like, Arthur Curry. I hear you can talk to fish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I was like, ah! The joke! They did it! I don't like I like Cyborg in that. It looked really cool. Oh, wow. The, the CG for Cyborg looks impeccable. Well, it could be worse. Okay. It could okay, be okay, okay, okay. I've got to. I've got to play it. I've got to play it. Arthur Curry. I hear you can talk to fish. I had to play it. So. <laughs> so so that's so it's basically just them setting up Batman, gathering the team, working with Wonder Woman to gather the team. Which is the good thing is that yeah. we don't know what the villain is yet. Yeah, exactly. Then they drop. I expect him to run in the next trailer. Yeah. So then they dropped Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman's trailer, um, which is pretty cool in its oh, own right. Man. 
And the music in it is Wonder Woman's trailer which is almost stole Comic Con. Oh yeah, <laughs> it almost stole Comic Con. We'll come back to why it didn't later. Yeah. So, so, yeah, so it wakes up, starts off with a dude unconscious on a beach somewhere. Ah, uh, so that's um obviously it's, uh, Chris Pine. The character's name is um Steve Rogers. It's yeah. actually in the comics. Diana Captain, actually. I was gonna say Captain Kirk found, was found. On an alien planet, I was supposed to sleep <laughs> on a beach by Wonder Woman. It's like, um, wait, what? So, anyway. Well, like, no, no, he's actually, yeah. um, in, in the comics, um, um, in the present day, to, um, sense, because it's like really iffy how they first did it and then came back to it. He actually works for the CIA. Yeah. No, she's playing in World War Two by the looks of it. World War One. World War One. One, okay. Yeah. One of the world wars. Yeah, which is why I'd like to see Captain America versus Wonder Woman. They both use shields. They both survive world they both wars. Have super, they both have super strength. Yeah. Now the question is, can Wonder Woman fly? In this, I don't know. Traditionally, yes. Yeah. In this, not sure. So my understanding for Wonder Woman was, because she's like showing off all these really cool battle scenes right now with her in the trenches in World War One, going over the sides, charging, and she just sort of gets up on her own and just sort of casually walks through in her Iron Man-looking armor, just casually <laughs> deflecting mortars and stuff. It's like, um, okay. But yeah. Um, anyway, it's a really kick-ass trailer. It really is. Um, <laughs> cause, yeah, my it's like, well, was... DC might finally managed to turn their shit around at last. Yeah. <laughs> See, Took them long was... enough. Yeah. My understanding for Wonder Woman was that she couldn't necessarily fly fly. She was sort of like Superman where she could jump ridiculous distances. And that's sort of uh, how she it could feels. fly in the comics, so yeah. not sure what they'll do. Then why would she in have an invisible verse? jet? Because she was I don't know. Oh, it was like an Amazonian thing. It was like when Am- Amazons left left the island they got an invisible jet because not all of them could fly. Fair enough. So, yeah. What, 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 oh, my oh, question is, why oh, I've got to play the secretary. Why invisible jet? You could see her. Like, did, did it make the cockpit invisible? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah no, it's the secretary. I've got to play the... I've got to play the end. Oh, yeah. I'm Steve Trevor's <laughs> secretary. What is a secretary? I go where he tells me to go, and I do what he tells me to do. Oh, well, where I'm from, that's called slavery. I really like her. Fantastic. Oh, Ladies, after you. I do. I like <laughs> love that. So, so where we come from, that's <laughs> called slavery. Right, she's called like slavery. She's, she's I, like 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 I like her. I like her a lot. I like her a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's like right, ladies, this way, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's nice to see them get the humor side of things in in their movies again at last. Exactly. Exactly. Um. So then we continue down to. Actually, have you seen the Have you seen the meme going on with Batman and Aquaman? No. <laughs> uh, Bruce Wayne asks, "It's like, what's your name?" It's like, Aqua Martha. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, please tell me the next shot is like, Batman crying, saying, "Don't trigger me." Um, I'm gonna find it, but like, there's a whole bunch of, of versions. It's like, you're in. <laughs> and this is like, it's really funny. Uh, yeah, we'll have to post one of those up on Safe Sci-Fi later. Facebook.com/slash/SafeSciFi. Um, so. Next, so what was, you mentioned earlier that there was some controversy around the Wonder Woman trailer. It almost stole Comic-Con. Why was it almost? <laughs> because Doctor Strange stole Comic-Con. Oh yes. Wonder Woman lasted at the top of the food chain for about a day. The trailer is absolutely spectacular. And then Doctor Strange. And oh the, my and everyone's just like, God. <clears throat> So, oh we'll... my god, did that screw... Does it... it still screws with my head! Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get to it. The Doctor Strange trailer is further down the list. Next up is Marvel's I Luke know. Cage. The trailer I haven't actually oh, seen. Oh baby, I like it raw! So, god damn it. So, what? what? It's the song! <laughs> so, it's so... the song in the trailer! So, so we... we open for, up... those, for those wondering, the song is um, um, ODB's Shimmy Shimmy, yeah. Yeah. So. So, 
Which I absolutely think it's a great song for the... Like, it suits the trailer so well. Oh, yeah. So we see Luke Cage doing his thing, trying to help the little guy. Gets convinced to sort of help... Um, Well, the little guy. Breaks into a building of some description with a car door as a shield. Yeah. And just casually walks through an army of bad guys. Just not a single fuck given. And eventually he just crushes it around a guy and lobs him down the stairs at other people. Yeah, he just, the full, he just full cr- does the crusher and just is like, yeah. down the stairs you go. Oh, yeah. You know all the bullet holes in his jacket? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's from him getting his ass kicked. I love, uh, the the best a, thing is, I love how human. lazy he fights in this. Yeah. It, like, he just casually is throwing people around like he doesn't care. Oh, yeah. Just, just he, kick a door down. He looks bored. He genuinely looks bored. He's just like, this is too easy. But yeah. the the, um, the slow mo, where he's just walking and the bullet, and you just see the bullets hit him, is like, oh, that dude, yes. Oh yeah. So so, um, that's only a really short one minute and a half. So yeah, it's 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 pretty cool. So we're going to skip the next one. We'll do it last because you always finish with the big one. Move on to Marvel's Daredevil Season 3. So, I haven't actually seen this one. What's it really? Oh, it's... So not, many trailers. It doesn't, re- it doesn't even show anything. It doesn't. It's just a sign that says Hell's Kitchen. One, two, three. It, t- it says then... Hell's Kitchen, one, two, three, and then there's like... Bl- and then it, the lights cut out, and then there's blood, and it says Daredevil, ne- and it has, um, Daredevil next to the three. Yeah. And then it just says Daredevil Season 3 coming soon. That's literally it. So, not worth really doing. It's just letting you know that they are working on it. Yeah. Well, that's the that's the Season 3 trailer covered, literally in real time. Because it's only 30 seconds long. So, moving down, we go to Gotham. The Gotham oh, trailer. I oh, look forward is... to Season 3 of Gotham. Oh, yeah. Gotham is... I know I'm the only trailer. one here that watches Gotham, so... I watch Gotham. I just I don't... don't really rate it very high. There's a, well, I think after the season finale, there's a lot. I think season three is going to be uh, very interesting. I think there'll be a lot of questions that need answering. Oh, yeah. So it looks like it's. Wow. Five oh, back. Let's... Basically, like, back. everyone's back. Yeah. Sorry for the silence, I'm watching the videos first time I've seen it. So you see Penguin getting a re- getting locked back up in a chair with the helmet being put on him and zappity zap zapped. Which is what happened last season. And then he was set free last season. So are you sure this is a trailer for last season? The, it's a recap trailer. Oh. It's like they recap uh, they recap all of season two and then they start off with and then they go into season three. Ah, that's gotta be it. So you see Bruce training parents being buried. At least I think it's the parents. It's somebody being buried. In Baltimore, yeah, yeah it's, it? it's the flashback to his parents. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Kind of like getting sick of that, though. I know it's the, the thing, but it's like, okay, we, we, we get it. It's done. Stop. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to skip forward and look for something that's new. Oh, I found something that's new. It's about the two-minute mark. Two... 50 mark, it jumps to new things by the look of it. Let's see, monsters. Oh, you see, that guy's mutating to high hell. Yep. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is Hugo Stra- um, Dr. Hugo Strange's, um, Lab. Morgue, where he's basically been bringing everyone back to life. Yeah. So, let me see someone breaking through a window. Who was that? I'm not there. sure. I haven't been able to uh, realize who that was yet. Let's have a look. And I think it's I think it's Azrael. Yeah, it looks very uh, for Azraeli. Those, yeah, for for those listening and don't, who don't know, Azrael is a um 
Yeah, it's the guy from the end of the trailer in the mask. It's Azrael. Yeah. Same cape. How, how, do, how do I describe Azrael? Azrael is the former mayor turned psycho lunatic who has no memories <laughs> of his former life, who thinks he is an angel or something that can go around killing people but for God's vengeance or something like that. Something like that. So, 19th of September, it's coming back. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it comes back earlier before the others, because the others come back in October. Yeah. <laughs> it's still too far away. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, it's another month. Everyone's alone checking in. Oh, what? When's that you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Iron Fist. That's another trailer I cannot recall seeing. So, moving on to Marvel's Iron Fist, which is the next trailer on the thing. Um, yep. See a kid with his face being held by a mum, some snow. Some... First, it looks yeah, like she's strangling uh... him. Kid in the snow with two monk looking guys? The kid is, um, the kid. Is... Okay, so, uh, um,. Watch the trailer and I'll give a bit of backstory, because I actually know Iron Fist really well. Alright, cool. So, the kid is now in a mentally sort of institution with all the walls. And now there's a hole in the wall, and he's just casually walking out. Okay. Seems legit. <laughs> Alright, so, so, so Iron Fist is a story of, of, of uh, Danny Rand, um, who was in a, pl a plane accident. Um, that's his, the kid is um, Danny, and that's his mum. Um... The plane was crashed, and he was taken it in by months, as you as seen in the trailer. Yeah. They taught him crazy super kung fu? The, the way of the Iron Fist is, is literally what it is. Crazy super kung fu it is. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, then he, um, years later, he returns to New York as the as the guy you see in... Um, as you guys... Because yeah, he's the person you see in the uh, asylum. Yeah. But he's not... Pre um, I don't know why he's put there. Um, I do miss a bit with Iron Fist. I haven't read it in a while, so be nice to actually get to watch this. Maybe um, he but basically, got, maybe he escaped the monks with, because of Super Kung Fu. No, 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 no. He, no, no. It wasn't to do. It's not to do with the monks. He, he basically he completes his training come, and comes back. Ooh. Yeah, no, no. It's not to do with the monks. I just like the fact that he's got Super Kung Fu. <laughs> They're gonna have at least one super kung fu person in in the universe. Exactly. So, um, so yeah. So yeah, and um, so yeah, his basically in the, in the comics and stuff, his um, his left um hand when he activ activates the iron fist will actually gl actually have like a fire around it. Nice. So it'll be intriguing to see how they go with that. And then his outfit is um. Is like the color is like the monk colors they, that they see in the trailer. So like the the yellow green and the yellow. yellow. Yeah. Yeah. And he also and I won't ruin what happens with him because it's really cool. Uh, and it's probably what's going to be covered in season one. So. So yeah. Uh, so what's happening with um the the shows and stuff is uh we get Luke Cage at the end of the year. Yep. That then we get. Um, we get Iron Fist, then we get Defenders, and then I think we go back to Season 2, Jessica Jones, and Season 3 of Daredevil. But they won't be coming out till like, 2018. Yeah, okay. So speaking of which, speaking of Defenders, we have a trailer for Defenders. Defenders trailer! Yay! Yes! I thought this was really cool, a really cool way they did this. Yeah. They don't really show much. Actually, anything. Yeah. <laughs> That's the idea. Probably... I like that. I like it that they don't show things because that way you don't get ruined. Exactly. Looking at you, DC Comics. <laughs> but yeah, so the whole, the whole point is they're sort of setting up who's going to be a part of Defenders because very few people know what the Defenders yeah. are. And I'll, uh, for those who don't know who, uh, who the Defenders are, they are basically the, uh, the 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 B team of the Avengers. Yeah. The Defenders are effectively the Avengers, but for New York City. Yeah. Yeah, because um, Luke Cage is set, in, is set in Harlem. Yeah. 
I don't know what Iron Fist is going to be set, to be honest. I don't think they'll do Hell's Kitchen. I think it might actually be like the main streets of New York. Well, I look at the buildings, it looks similar to Manhattan, but I don't know New York, so I wouldn't have a bloody clue. <laughs> yeah. Let me need to look it up. I'll see if I can... Yeah. Do it. Do the Google. See if I can... We're going to move on to the next trailer, because there's so many. So, so many. There's... Oh, many. Okay. Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. Ah, oh, Suicide Squad. We're just... For those who are curious, we will be watching Suicide Squad this week and reviewing it next week on the podcast, so make sure sure you tune in next week, and yeah, we will... I'm actually kind of looking forward to this. Oh yeah, random note, if you buy Batman vs Superman from JB Hi-Fi Australia, you will get a free ticket, or discounted ticket or something, to Suicide Squad. I know, because I bought Batman vs Superman. Why? Because I thought a four-hour version of a three-hour movie that felt long would be shorter. I was wrong. <laughs> So, anyway, moving on to Suicide Squad trailer. So, yeah. It just says returning to New York. So I'm guessing he's like in, I'm guessing New York City, New York. Yeah. It's just like I thought he was. I thought he was NYC, Luke Cage's Harlem, and then Daredevil, Jessica Jones, or Hell's Kitchen. Yeah. So. Which probably means Defenders will probably be set in Manhattan or, or Queens. Yeah. Well, no, Queens is Spidey, so probably not Queens. So probably Manhattan. It'd be cool if there was a Spidey cameo, though, in Defenders. Like, like, it'd be cool if in one of the episodes they just find Spiderweb. They don't see Spider-Man, they don't show Spider-Man in any way, shape, or form. They find just Spiderweb hanging from a building and they're like, what the f*** is all to go with this? Anyway. I have a size Spiderweb. Yeah. So, so, starts off, Suicide Squad trailer starts off with them in a bar. All chatting about how sort of good things happen. It's sort of weird that they're thrown together and whether or not they're going to help. That would blame for everything. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, look, regardless of what happens, we've got to get blamed for it. So we may as well just fuck sh- as much shit up as possible. Is effectively the conversation. Oh, well, because we're the bad guys and that's how it is. Yeah. So, so it's showing all sorts of different sort of scenes and then what the hell is that thing that cuts through the train uh, um well this is where it gets interesting because they've gonna basically it's gonna be like multiple villains throughout the movie it's not gonna be focused on one big bad guy okay so I think um what happens is Enchantress goes rogue so I think the first part like, the first bit of it is they, cap- they try and get Enchantress back on the team. Yeah. Um, there is a big baddie... Oh, I've got to remember. Let me see if I can find it. I think it's, like, called... There's there is a name for it. It's, like, called The One, or it's, like, The Big Bad, or something like that. I'm not sure what that is. Yeah. That could be what that is. And then, obviously, we know Joker as well, so... If it's The That's... Big Bad, they should call Buffy... Or she dealt with the big bad at one point. <laughs> well, see, I must admit, the thing I'm looking forward to the most in this is Joker. Joker and Harley. I've heard I've it. heard good things about um, Leto's Joker, so... Yeah, yeah. I've been I, told that he got too much in character. <laughs> I heard that too. <laughs> to be fair, they all did. Cons- considering Jai Courtney actually smoked magic mushrooms for the role. Dangerous. Yeah. Don't make me shoot you. Yeah, basically they're gonna go. Basically, like I think it's gonna be like a three-parter um, in the movie of like different villains. Like yeah. one act will be like Enchantress, one act will be Joker, and one act will be like the big bad guys and stuff. So. Yeah. Again, this is just guessing because I obviously we haven't seen it yet, so no. I have no idea. I'd laugh if Batman was one of the bads. <laughs> oh, it would be interesting to see what they do. Um, 
what role Batman plays in what, the movie. Uh, what his what his role will, um, in it will be, as well as a certain other Justice League member that makes a cameo as well. Yeah. Oh, Harley, 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 Harley. Hmm. It's not fair. It's not fair that she's crazy. Anyway, not the point. <laughs> so, yeah. so, the Suicide Squad looks like it's going to be really good. Um, honestly, I think expectations are way too high for Suicide Squad. I suspect it's going to be not that good. But it still should be pretty good. Um, so, yeah. Now, we're moving on to Flash Season 3, if anything's in that. Oh, that's, that's actually a decently trailer, so... Oh, there's a fair bit in, in the Season 3 trailer. Oh, yeah. I haven't actually seen it. So many of these trailers I haven't seen. I'm such a bad host. Really? I, I've, I've watched all of them. Yeah. That's because Stuart doesn't have a life. Hey. He's it not, came out on the not, weekend. He's not wrong, it though, Stuart, It came out on a weekend. Stuart? <laughs> So it is really not wrong. Sorry, must be talking about me. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Stuart, this, he's definitely just he's, he's hit the nail on the head, hasn't he? Yeah. Slugger. There's my beautiful boy. Is everything all right? Everything's great. You look really familiar. I've seen you before, haven't I? Uh, Barry. Uh, Barry. Uh, Barry Allen. Right. Spot. Sorry. It's, some people are just meant to be in your life. Hey. Who the hell is this? Cisco Ramon is the richest man in America. Is there a better way to get to work than by helicopter? Cisco. Uh uh. Don't call me that. I don't know you, String Bean. We're not partners, and we're not friends. You don't know me. You don't know my life. We're something else to each other where you come from, aren't we? This isn't your home, Barry. It's a mirage. It's already screwing with you and everyone you love, and pretty soon it's gonna take me right down along with you. What should we call this brave new world that you've whipped up for us? I was thinking... Flashpoint. I like how we see Wally as the Flash. Oh, it's Kid Flash, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. So happy. So happy. The outfit, the costume looks fantastic. Oh, yeah. Now who's the villain, Flash? Now who's the villain? So, yeah, so I'm curious exactly how that's going to play out over the long term. There is so much uh, stuff that could go. But um, what is interesting about this season is that not there's not going to be one bad guy, but two. Yeah, Flash is one of them. Um, pardon? Flash is one of them. <laughs> Kid Flash is the other. Ha ha ha! No, um, <laughs> one is up to one is Make us laugh Alchemy. ever. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Yeah, no, uh, one is Doctor Alchemy. Yep. Which is the guy, um, the mask and the hood that you see, like in the Flash, black, and, and like the you also the see a f- thing. you also see a Flash where it comes up with alchemy. <laughs> it literally says the word alchemy. Alchemy. Yeah. I don't know who that black, um, the other Flash is, like the one that's facing across from Kid Flash. Yeah. Um, I know it's played by um, Todd Lassett, who's an Australian actor. So, um, but I'm not sure what the captain name is. They haven't given out any details. Um, hmm, let me see. I know, his name is... The Australian Fast Bowler. No? Oh, come on, that that was at least a little bit stupid. It's not even worth a chuckle. Screw you guys. (laughs) I spend too much time with someone who has really bad puns, so... You get nothing from me. Uh, You're all boring. So, but yeah, the the, the the Flash season, uh, next season, season three, actually looks really good. Um, so, I'm so yeah, yeah. 
as I said, one um one of them is one of the villains is the speedster which we see, which we have no name for. Yeah. And then obviously we've got Doctor Alchemy, so Alchemy will probably be the first half and then the speedster will probably be the second half. Yeah, depending on how it plays out. It'd be curious if the speedster is someone trying to restore the old timeline. It wouldn't surprise me if it's like reverse flash and it's got like a new outfit. Yeah. Because the lightning's red. If you look at the lightning, it's red. So. So, yeah, so, anyway. Um, then we've got... I love, I love flash music. I love the music for this show. Yeah. So, now we move on to the Legends of Tomorrow trailer. So. I'm guessing another one you haven't watched. Maybe. Hey. What? There is about 40,000 of these that I actually have a job. <laughs> well, they're worried about there time travelers. There are a lot of trailers. There is like a ridiculous amount of trailers. They play with time travel. Yay! We have one person messing up time travel. We don't need, we don't need a team well, of them. The, the funny thing is, the guy, these guys just destroyed the one force that was keeping time in check and preventing these time criminals. And they're like, oh, by the way, we destroyed the police force here, so now we're the police force. It's like, but you can't be... There was literally thousands of people you're replacing with the one ship. I see this getting all yeah. Doctor Who-y. Or oh, there is also the Justice Society of America. Oh yeah. Uh, hey! What with the JSA? Good start, girl. I'm happy. I need to talk to you about the legends. And we get and we get Vixen as well. Also happy. Time for what? Damien kill you. So Damien Dark's back. Uh, so yeah, this is the cool thing. Um, not so not only will there be one villain in this, but there will be four main villains in this season. So we've got Damien Dark, Malcolm Merlin. Reverse Flash and Captain Cold. Fair enough. How they do, man, when they do Captain Cold, the team's reaction is just gonna be really interesting. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so, that's Legends trailer. Oh, we've got an Arrow trailer. Oh, man. Yeah, they see dun, 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 dun. Arrow, dun, 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 Arrow dun, sees dun, me taking David. after uh, <laughs> Batman with keeping suits of his um, comrades comrades in tubes. Yeah. So, honestly, I still think Arrow should have ended, like, a couple of seasons ago. Season three. Yeah. <laughs> the, the really interesting thing is that Oliver's got a new elf and got a new suit. <laughs> he has a new suit every season. So yeah, he has, he's, got, he's, he's, he's got sleeves again, basically. Yeah, so we've got the, you got the Arrow Hall of Armor. And then we see the big fight from the end of last season. Where he takes Damien down. And he's sworn into office. <laughs> yep. And he's talking a lot to Laurel. His name is Rene Ramirez. Yeah, but Wild Dog is much scarier. I thought you didn't want to be a vigilante. I never want to feel helpless again. 
So yeah, so you've got one. Uh, so they build effectively building a new team. So they've got Wild Dog, and I missed the name of the first character. Oh, Mr. Terrific. What? Mr. Terrific no, means... was listed. Yeah, he means the girl, which is Artemis. Yeah. Inspired by you. I came here to work with the guy who killed Damien's dog first. I'm gonna teach you a few things. I'll play. First part of initiation. Only person you can trust yourself. Only. You told me the dead don't want anything. Either I'm willing to do whatever is necessary. You call them all amateurs. Well, they are. Yeah. He was an amateur to start off with, too. One of these guys looks like Wolverine. What, like, like, like what, 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 Bard Dog? Yeah, yeah, he's. Yeah. So in one of the shots, you see a guy charging forwards. He's got the whole sideburn looking thing. It looks like Wolverine. He doesn't have claws, but he looks like it. So anyway, so season five of Arrow. Uh, yes, it'd be nice if they used Arrow to establish a uh, non-futuristic sort of. If Arrow sort of established the the um, Justice League of America, that'd be pretty cool. And then have that bleed over into, even though it started in Legends of Tomorrow, have that bleed back and have the origins of them being on Arrow. Um, well, the interesting thing with season five is the is the villain. Yep. We don't know the name of the villain, but the reason they are a villain is to do with Oliver. Oh. Basically, Oliver kind of made him into what he is now. So, no, no supernatural powers this time. This is a normal person. Oh yeah, so it's it's just good. Makes for a nice change. So anyway, time to do the second last trailer. Um, where is it on my list? There it is. Sausage party. I thought it does um the hundreds. Uh, uh, don't worry about the hundred. <laughs> so that's his party! Look at these big old birds, waiting to get filled with... Oh, this is just funny. Who in this package would ever let Carl get up in them, huh? Roberta, put your fucking hand down, you're ruining my joke. <laughs> Ketchup, mustard, oh, sausages and buns. Wheat to bun, yes! 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 Together. Because we belong together. I know it's against the rules, but just the, the tips. tips. <sighs> Prepare yourself, little sausage. You're about to learn the terrible truth. <laughs> beautiful, man. It's just beautiful. The sooner as you're out those doors. Oh, Jesus, fuck! The gods kill our asses. You fucking whore! Me eyes! They burn a little! <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Why would they do that? Uh, because it makes them stronger. Hunger's insatiable, buddy. I mean, fuck. How do you know all this? We the non-perishable, motherfucker. I gotta tell everyone. They will die otherwise. Fuck you, weenie. What if the gods are doing this to us because we touch tips? <sighs> it wasn't even that... I mean, it was fine. It's not like anyone writes home and says, Oh, God, I have the best tips. Together, we can fight these monsters and take control of our own lives. Come on, join the fight! Oh, God. This is going to be a very quiet podcast. No, no, no. I'm, I'm actually playing the trailer. <laughs> Gary, just throw this fucking toothpick at me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Toilet roll. <laughs> what do you do to you? You don't want to fucking know. You don't want to know. <laughs> so, 
there. So Sausage Party, it's effectively what if all of the inanimate objects around us were actually alive. And it's aimed at adults as opposed to kids. So yeah, it's pretty hilarious. So, Wig, um, Eugene, are you there? Yes, I am. Sweet. Do you want to do the model report? What? And when we come back, we'll cover Doctor Strange. Uh, um, really not much going on with the hobbies right now. We're just waiting on some of the new stuff to come out. However, uh, for anybody that's paying attention, on Kickstarter, they're having a Phase 2 Enterprise model that you can support where they're doing, going to be building one and you can get your name on it, among other things. And on Indiegogo, um, Renegades is running another other thing to try and finish up um, the second and third episodes. So anybody that's interested might want to check those out. And tomorrow, here in the U.S., The Killing Joke comes out. Oh, yes. It's, we're fairly close to getting it over here, I think, aren't we, Stuart? Uh, what? Killing Joke. Sorry. Oh, um... Uh, uh, there was a screening in the move, in the cinemas last weekend. Like, not the weekend that's passed, but the weekend before. You're fired. Back to the model report. Uh, well, that's the end of the hobby report from Perry County Hobbies. <laughs> Sweet. So, cool, cool. We're back to cover Doctor Strange. Um, so, the, the Doctor Strange trailer is the first decent look we've got at Doctor Strange. Um, you actually see him as a doctor, playing the piano, sort of showing that he is everything that you think he is. And car crash. And hospital. And destroyed hands. And can't do surgery anymore. And then we meet the bald monk of bald monkiness that breaks the universe. So. Marvel Studios. I love the new logos, by the way. The new logos are nice. Yeah. So, yeah. So this is their first real sort of dive into the mystical side of things. And they effectively fire Stargate teleport to the top of a mountain. Um, and he's trying to learn how to use his version of Super Kung Fu magic dearly. Um, Wait a minute. Uh, Dr. Strange is DC, right? No, Marvel. No, he's Marvel. Marvel. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. Keep going. Never mind. You're thinking of Zata of um Zatanna and uh and uh, Tr uh Doctor Truth. They're um they're the mystics. Yeah. So so. It, it I'm definitely curious to see how they play out because the whole city goes full on Inception and. I'm curious whether <laughs> everybody notices that it's gone to fucking hell or if it's, something that, they don't necessarily notice. I think it would be better if they didn't notice it, and this is everything's normal around them, and then it just cuts to that alternate, like that really weird dimension. Yeah. So, and you see Doctor Strange putting his cape on, which was pretty fucking cool. Oh, the cape swing! This yeah. is so badass. Oh yes. Oh, oh yes. There's the best part of the trailer. I gotta, I gotta back up. Play, play this. So. Oh, the the Wi-Fi password. Thanks for ruining the joke. Uh, what's this, my mantra? The Wi-Fi password. We're not savages. And then it shows him being attacked or something. And I only just realized, just now, the guy that gives him the Wi-Fi password is from Serenity. Yeah. Yeah. I just noticed. So. Oh. The birds have woken up and are deciding to make all of the noise. Seriously, they're at the other end of the house and I can still hear them through the feedback. Noisy little pricks. Anyway, so that's it for the trailer breakdowns. All sorts of shenanigans have happened over and over again. Um, so 
this week coming up, we're going to see Suicide Squad. Now is, just before we do the news, let's just sort of say what we expect to see at Suicide Squad. What are we expecting, sort of, before going in? Um, things going bang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that will up. definitely happen. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm... Um, be it, I want to see... Um, I want uh, they, They'll probably do it, but I want to see um, how they capture all the members of Suicide Squad and put them in the Bell Reef. Yeah, uh, I, w- I don't necessarily want to see that. Um, how they get captured. Just because I want to see how they mess with how they get Captain Power Anchors. Yeah. <laughs> That's just going to be funny. Yeah. Um, the What I'd like to see is, what I'm really keen to see, is how Batman, Joker, and Harley interact. We know that definitely happens. We know that... Batman is the one that brings in, um, but, well, we, we see, put it this way, there's video of Batman clinging onto the back of Joker's supercar, so, we know it's Batman that sort of, bring, at least brings Harley in, so, yeah, I'm definitely curious to see how that plays out, I'm curious to see who the second Justice League member is that has a cameo, It'll, oh, I know who it is, you do, it's Flash, god damn, I figured it would be, um, I was going to say... Well, because Captain be... Bromag's a Flash villain. Yeah. I was about to say, it won't be... It won't be Wonder Woman. It won't be Superman. It probably won't be Aquaman, which leaves the Flash. So. Yeah, like, literally, you see him for, like, a second, and then he bolts. Yeah. No pun intended. Oh, God. You're the worst. You're horrible. I know. Absolutely horrible. Um, so, yeah, so... I'm expecting... Maybe a six or seven out of ten, but that's based on the sort of previous experiences with the the DCU, the DCCU, yeah that, um because the while the movies have been they've been just been too dark and gritty, and this one really needs to be almost the opposite of that. It needs to have like Suicide Squad hasn't been dark and gritty. It's always been a little bit of fun. Um, at least from the stuff from Suicide Squad that I've seen. And I'd like that to translate into this movie. If they play this movie serious, that's the end of the DCU. I don't think they can come back from that. Um, not in a meaningful way in the long term. Um, the final nail in the coffin would be how would Wonder Woman go. But So, looking forward to Suicide Squad. And that comes out on the 4th over here. And I think it comes out on the Friday in the States. I'm not sure. Um, I'm, I'm trying. No, no, no. They get it. They get it. The they get. It, oh, actually, no. Uh, no. I think they get it. Because we get it on, get the, on the Thursday. Fifth. I'm pretty sure they get it on the Friday. Probably do. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll we'll break down what we've seen uh, next week in the podcast. So. And I'm doing midnight launch at Chermside. Yes, yeah. I, I will. I will be getting the mutton chops for Captain Boomerang tomorrow. Oh God. I'm... I'm looking at it and going, is it one I want to see in the theatre, or should it be safer for me to watch it when it comes out to DVD? Yeah. Really? Well, Scarecrow should take you to watch it in the cinema. No, I'm horrible for watching in the theatre. Okay. Um, so. I, went, I went and watched the um, Ghostbusters the other day. Yeah. There's Dumb Blonde, and then there's Dumb Blonde as a secretary. Yeah. They did the... <laughs> I, I, heard, too, well, I heard that... Too dumb. Yeah, I heard Hemsworth was played off as... If Hemsworth was a female character and the main character were men, men, it would be the most sexist thing in the universe. But because he's male, it's A-OK. No, it's not. Oh, I know. I'm, I'm well aware it's not OK. But my point is that no one's making a big stink about it. Whereas if it was female, they would. That's my point. So, anyway. They were, one thing they should have kept in the movie, but they didn't, was yep. when the ghost had possessed um, Chris Handler and was making him dance, and yeah. everyone else was doing the dance with him. Oh, God. When he moved, the, everyone else, that all the soldiers, all the police were, were moving with him. No. They are all doing dancing. Wow. Well. Uh, well, anyway, um, time to move on to the news. Let's do it. 
News time. Yay. Okay, so um So I uh, got some Supergirl news. Cat Grant has been confirmed. Haha, ha, took the wind out of your sails for a change. Yep. <laughs> I'm happy because I love I love I love Callista Flockhart as Cat Grant. Oh, she yeah. is, Cat Grant is spectacular. Fantastic. Um so the first Rogue One TV spot has been released. Ooh, nice. So yeah, it's uh, thirty. Se- it's sh- uh, just over thirty seconds, and it basically um focuses on Jin Erso's involvement with Rebel Alliance. So uh, Felicity Jones's character. Nice. So yeah, nothing on Vader yet. I say yet because we know he's in there, and then I don't need much to get me excited for Vader. All I just need is a black screen and breathe and the, and the breathing. Yeah, and then all we hear for the next hour is. Silence, I kill you? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, um, this is, so yeah, uh, Colton, Hay- uh, Colton Haynes is apparently on, on the set of Arrow. Huh. Um, it, we know for a while now that he was um, reprising his role as uh, Roy for an episode or, or two this season. But he's definitely, um, about, um, uh, Echo Cullum, who plays, um, Mr. Terrific, uh, Took to um posted some images a snapshot of him hanging out with Hayne. So we, it's not him in costume. So we don't know if he's just visiting or if he actually is filming his cameo or not. Okay. So they are up here in Vancouver filming again. So nice. Um, I don't know if you saw this or not, David. Oh God. But Ghost Rider is joining Agents of Shield in season four. Yes, I saw that. That's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Now it's not going to be um it's not the Ghost Rider um that, like it's not the Nicolas Cage Ghost oh, Rider. No, why? I want it to be Nicolas yes. Cage Ghost Rider. It's, no, it's, it's not um, Johnny it's, um, Blaze. Um, yeah, no, it's Robbie Ray's. Ah. I wanted to so be. So he's Nicolas the most Cage. recent one in the comic. So he's the most recent one in the comics. But instead of a bike, he's got a souped-up charger. It's really cool. Fair enough. So yeah. It'd be interesting to see how they use that, like whether he actually joins the agents or if he's helping Sky being on the run. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to Agents of Shield. Um... It's nice getting. I love like because my because Disney just got the rights back because um, Fox had them, but they didn't do another movie, so so um, Disney just got the um, rights back to it. Yeah, like about a month ago. So they they jumped on the they jumped on it. Yeah, like we got the rights. I quick... would have liked. I would have liked to have seen Netflix series. Yeah, I, I think Netflix series really would have been awesome. But I can I can live with Agents of Shield. I, I heard an interesting rumor about the um, the X Men TV series. What's that called? Legion or something? Oh, um, uh, Le- yeah, Legion. Yeah, yeah. I heard that there is a chance that that's going to be in the MCU. Yeah, I've heard that as well. Uh, it'd be really interesting if that was the case. Yeah, because the, 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 the way it works is that on the, the Marvel page, they listed all the new characters for the MCU that were released at Comic-Con. And this is Marvel.com. And alongside all of the new sort of Miss Marvel, uh, Captain Marvel and all that sort of stuff was the people from Legion. And immediately everyone was like, whoa! Uh, X- yeah. X-Men becoming part of the MCU? That would be spectacular. That would be great. If that was a thing, we would have... We, assuming it goes follows through, not just from the TV stuff, right through all the movies and stuff, we could have Deadpool in the Avengers! Yay! That would make me so happy! I'm so happy! Speaking of Avengers, um, the movies... Uh, Infinity War Part 1 and Part 2. Something has changed. Oh, yeah. There, there was a... Thanos got there his was hand a title on, change. Thanos got his hand on the Time Stone and mucked around with everything. That's what happened there. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, yeah. The, 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 the end of Phase 3, the first Avengers movie will be Avengers Infinity War. But the second one, the second movie will not have Infinity War in its title. So, I'd be very intrigued to see what they call it. Yeah. So... Unfortunately, that's a long... That's still a fair few years away, so... Oh, yeah. So... It's like... Yeah. Alright, uh, moving back to um, um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., uh, Jason O'Mara has 
has uh, been cast as a new director of Shield. Nice. <laughs> so yeah, um, not sure what his name is yet, but he's been in um Life of Mars, Terra Nova, Vegas, Complications. Like he's been around the um the block, the TV scene for ages. So yeah, yeah. Well, if he's been in Terra Nova, then I love him by default. You you you'll recognize him when you see him. Yeah. So, so yeah, he's gonna be the new uh. He's going to be the new director, so... Sorry, Coulson. I'm pretty sure Coulson's been trying to give that job up for a while, so... <laughs> so, early this early this morning Australian time, we got a new Pokemon trailer. A uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon trailer. Really? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Like, you really, yes, it actually is a thing. There's going to be some interesting changes. Oh, God. So... Volpix and Ninetales, depending on where you catch them, could potentially be ice instead of fire. Really? Yes. So this is this is a really awesome trailer where they showed off. They called them the uh, the Alola, Alola um uh, types. So basically, um, Sandshrew, Sandslash, Volpix, Ninetales, depending on when you catch them, will be ice. You could get an ice Sandshrew. Yeah, will be or Sandra will be ice steel. What the hell? Not only that, Executor. Oh my god, Executor. They basically turned they basically made made the joke of you know how he's a palm tree? They made him literally a giant palm tree. Like they've just made his neck the size of a giraffe's neck and put his head on top. Really? Yes, really. Like look up the trailer, it's like on YouTube and everything. What the hell? And there's new Pokemon, and it, like it shows off. Um, there's new. Um, so we're not gonna get Mega Evolutions, I don't believe. We're getting a thing called Z moves. Oh. No? They're basically like um ultimate moves for Pokemon. So like, so like instead of the Mega Evolution powers, they use um the Z moves as their Uber thing. So like, so like um it's really cool. Like there's a lot of cool stuff in it. Executor looks really stupid. I'm sorry. Executor looks really stupid. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking that up right now. Um, filters. Last updated today. Uh. So yeah, um, keeping on Pokemon, people are people are not happy with Ni- um, Niantic. Oh god, what Niantic the hell did they the do moment. to Executor? <laughs> there we go. What the hell? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? I told you they gave him a giraffe neck. What the hell? <laughs> that's just fucking what the fucking what <laughs> that, that doesn't that, that, what and I've managed to break it but then but 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 Um, so we'll go into some sad news to finish off. Yep. Um, we had a couple of deaths over, we had a couple of deaths over the weekend. Um, I've got to remember the name now. The guy from Babylon 5. Oh, um, Gary Doyle. Yeah. Gary yes, Doyle. Yes. Security Chief Michael Garibaldi. Yes, yes. Sadly he passed away. And there's also a really sad death from my childhood that passed away. Yours as well, Dave. The voice of Postman Pat passed away. Really? Yeah, the the original Postman Pat passed away, yeah. Aww. Been about, what, 30 years at least? Well, he was eight, is 91? Like, he was pretty old, so. Yeah. But I was like, aww. Like, and he was also the one that sang, like, he was the one who voiced Pat and he also sang the theme song. Yeah. Uh, anyway, sadly, that's it for this week's podcast. Uh, make sure you catch up with us on facebook.com slash save sci-fi or facebook.com slash save sci-fi podcast for your podcast-related stuff. Also, check out facebook.com slash the deadliest fandom uh, for all of your sci-fi versus stuff. Check out Perry County Hobbies because it's awesome. And check out Nobility and Garrison 7 because they're both spectacular. Um, and we shall catch you this time next week. Um, as always, catch you later. Bye. Bye all.
Bye, everyone. Meow. Meow. <laughs> oh, Stuart. Stuart started a meow thing like four episodes ago and it's still going. Uh, Stuart, Stuart, Stuart.